What's up, music makers? It's Luke from Sojourner Tracks with another installment of Two Minute Tips, where I try to answer specific questions about Logic in or around two minutes. Today, we're talking about how you can add events like sustain pedals, uh, modulation, pitch bend to software instruments after you've already laid them in. <laughs> If you liked today's video, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know what you thought in the comments below. This is a piano part that I recorded on my MIDI keyboard, and this is how it sounds without a sustain pedal. So pretty lifeless, pretty awful sounding. It's staccato, it's missing a lot of that rich fullness that you get from the sustain that goes from note to note. Obviously this piano part is just begging for that to be happening and it's not there and it sounds really terrible without it. So the way that you get this is actually really simple. There are a couple different ways to get to the same uh, editing. I'm gonna show you what I think is the most simple, which is just going up here to the Automations tab. Um, and you may have seen this before, you know, it comes up with track and volume are kind of the uh, defaults there. But if you click on track, this changes to region then. So we're actually just activating automation for this region. And that gives you some different options under this drop down menu. Um, so under MIDI, you actually have modulation, expression, sustain, pitch bend even. You can do note velocity, all kinds of stuff in here that you may find useful. We're looking for sustain, so click on that. Now I have sustain activated as an automation. So if I click somewhere on this region, I now have this uh, line here that I can move around and basically activate the sustain pedal to varying degrees. You know, you may want it fully open or fully closed. Um, let's, uh, let's just give this a listen, see how it changes the sound. That is much closer to what I was going for. And, um, you know, if you're a piano player, uh, you may want to, well, even if you're not a piano player, but if you understand how piano playing works, you may want to add some breaks in there for, uh, you know, when your foot comes off the pedal in between each chord, um, you may want to turn that off for certain sections. Um, I am not a piano player, so I'm not, I'm not particularly, uh, equipped to do this very well, but you get the idea. So you can add, this works just like any other automation where you can add points um, and drag that line all over the place to suit your specific needs. So hopefully that answers your question. I thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, and I think I actually got it done in like two minutes this time. So congrats to me. Congrats to you for watching. Bye-bye again.